As we continue to work our way through the book of Isaiah, we'll be looking at chapters 48 and 49 this week, and they dovetail so nicely with the season of the church year that we've just started this past Wednesday, which is the season of Lent. Isaiah 48 begins with the Lord trying to get an important message through to the people of Israel. Through the prophets, God foretold the things that would happen to them long ago so that the people couldn't point to false gods and give them the credit for their deliverance. The Lord makes it clear. He alone is God. He alone is Lord. And now he has new things to speak to them of. Things about their their future deliverance from captivity in Babylon through the work of Cyrus the Great. But also, more importantly, their deliverance from captivity to sin through Jesus. God also tells them exactly why he'll do these things for them. Not because of anything they had done to deserve it, but for his own sake. For his own sake, the Lord would do these things for them. Isaiah 49 follows the grim reality of the end of chapter 48. There's no peace for the wicked. God has promised to deliver his people, to bring peace to them. And now he makes good on that promise. In the opening verses, we see Jesus, the servant of the Lord. It's too small a thing for him to just redeem Israel. We see that he redeems the whole world, including you and me. The end of the chapter also looks forward to God gathering all of his children from all corners of the earth at the end of days. That's where chapters 48 and 49 just fit so nicely with our start of the Lenten season. Lent is all about this idea for us to be crushed by God's law, showing us our sins, showing us our need for a savior from those sins, because we can't save ourselves. And God knows that. And so he lovingly gave us our savior, Jesus, not because of anything we've done to deserve him, but for the Lord's own sake, all out of his great love for us. And through Jesus' work on the cross, we are God's children. And God never forgets or forsakes us. He calls us from captivity and sin to freedom that's found only in Christ. Join us this Sunday at 9.55 or Thursday night at 7 uh, over Zoom for our study of God's promises in Isaiah chapter 48 and 49.